every of them can in essence be rapid and that's why I think it's very difficult and it's, it's not that accurate to talk about rapid tests just as rapid tests. So you can even now, I think they're slowly becoming available PCR tests that could almost be rapid because they are quick to do and can almost be done inside laboratories or inside rooms with at clinicians or GP practices. So I'd rather speak about each of these tests. Some of them, in fact, all of them can be laboratory based where you do a slightly longer version, a more complicated version. But as newer tests are becoming available, and it's a very dynamic field, I think new tests are becoming avail available every week. Um, some of these tests may be rapid in the sense that they can give you results within 30 to 45 minutes. And often rapid tests imply that they can also be done um, at the bedside, can be done in a GP practice, for example. Um, so I think that's important to consider that all three versions of these tests could have forms of um, availability that um, have a rapid um, format that can be done very quickly.